<laughs> face. Oh, total face. Um, yeah, I'm sick of sex anyway. <laughs> yes, it's my longtime bachelor, Reuben Hill. I have to wear this dress. It's part of my family research. <laughs> All strings. Reuben Hill. Uh, Professor Hill, sir? Say, nice front porch. Yeah. Um, Mom, I need to get to school. The tepid embrace tells me they're ready for marriage. Welcome to as far as you're going to get. Oh, you're so suitable. Happy trails to you. Good night, darling. I touched your vitalis. I'm going to go wash my hands. Claire, isn't it exciting about our getting married? What? Yeah! What? Oh, oh, oh. Could you grab me a cold shower while you're in there? Thank you. Uh, you still didn't pay your grit bill, ma'am. I hope Leopold doesn't find out about this. Pretty sure this is my house, but you know. Walking on a pink cloud. So I asked her last night at a graduation prom, and she said yes. We're going to be married in August. Wow, married? Sorry. She's just finishing high school, and you still have two years at the university. And what about me? It's a tough road, Larry. What are you going to use for money? Well. Sue's folks were going to pay something to put her in junior college here in town for two years. So we'll have that. But instead of going to college, she'll get a full-time job in Campus Town. It's just Campus Town, Jake. she doesn't Jake. care anymore about education. So with that, and my part-time job, we'll get by. We'll be selling plasma. Uh-oh. You're Sue now. You two probably want to be alone. <laughs> well, why is Sue wearing a headdress? Oh, Sue, honey. Oh, Larry. Well, what's the matter? It's the folks' sake. We had a terrible scene. And I got kicked out of L7. I couldn't sleep a wink. They don't approve. They say I'm too young. They want me to finish two more years of schooling before I even get engaged. Oh, Larry. Oh, Rob. Buck up, sweetheart. They can't stop me. I'm Mighty Boy. Relax. And act normal till after your graduation next week. I'll contact the underground. And I can borrow Phil's car. Go down to Greenville. There's a justice of the peace down there. I'll marry him. Will he lope, honey? But, Larry, I wanted a church wedding. And all the parties and showers for me, too. And, and the annulment. My folks. That would break Mom's heart. Well, we're the ones that are getting married, not your folks. I hate you. I don't know, Larry. I'm really mousy. I read somewhere that a marriage without parents' approval has two strikes on it from the start. I think it was in humor in uniform. But if eloping's the only way... No... Maybe it isn't. I could have my chin smallered. Maybe you could convince your folks that you should get married. But how, Larry? How? Tell them we're pixies. Hmm? I'm sitting in a puddle. I'll bet we could get some advice from the marriage counselor over at the church. His name is Hall. Hans Hall? Phil told me about him. He teaches a course in marriage and family living at the college. Uh -huh. Do you think he could help me with my folks? No. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? Visit your government church. First Federal Church, member FDIC. My folks don't understand the way I feel. They feel like rhino hide. Well, that's the story, Mr. Hall. Do you think you can help us get married? <gasps> Herr Oberst! Why, I'm in favor of marriage. In fact, I spend a good deal of my time helping people to get ready for marriage. And I'm in the concrete now, business. Let's see. You've known each other for... Three months, one week, two days, and... Uh, 17 hours. Oh, boy, one of these. And you're 18, Sue? Si. And 19, Larry? Thank you. Have either of you ever been in love before? Well, does my uncle count? But not like this. This is the real thing. Yes. <laughs> no, it isn't. I had a chum in college who had the real thing with eight successive girls. Will Chamberlain? Oh, it's all right. If you have it, fine. Ooh. It's a very important factor in building a happy marriage. I found that out too but late, me, but... Let... How do you know it's real love? The kind you can get married on. Why, ever since I first met Larry, I haven't wanted to date anyone else. Except Dwight Eisenhower. three months now. And besides, I haven't even had one quarrel with him. In the car, No so... quarrels. Why not? No differences of opinion or no opinion. Objection! He's leading the witness. What do you talk about on your dates? Oh, 
Movies and popular mm -hmm. songs. Orchestras, dancing. Mm -hmm. Popular songs. Larry's chosen profession, engineering. No, I don't understand any of it. It's gross. I don't like to hear about it. Uh, Sue, honey, I didn't know you felt that way. That's because you never listen! Larry, you're a dullard. Well, it seems you two may have some things to talk over and settle. Idiots. Might well ask yourself some questions before you get too serious about marriage. Mm -hmm. Well, look, what do you mean? Yeah. What sort of questions? Well, questions for Cupid. Hmm? You might say he should ask them before he fires those arrows. Uh, are you licensed, sir? We call this Cupid's checklist. Have we entered your fantasy First, kingdom? You have similar background, similar basis for your ideals and standards. Pure bloodlines. Second, Cupid is anal. Are you real friends? Comrades, pals, mm. grew thick and thin. Comrades. And third, are you from the same family? You both understand marriage. Uh huh? Oh, not the kind in most movies or most popular songs. We love popular but the real songs. The everyday kind of marriage between real people. You understand it? Oh, well, golly, Mr. Hall, I don't know the answer to all those questions. I just know that I'm in love with Sue. Is that bad? No, that's good. Shut up, Iris. <laughs> and it's good when you recognize that you don't know the answers. It's a good sign. I don't know. Anything. I think we're friends. Hmm? And maybe we can understand marriage, but background. How do they affect getting married? Well, come over here a minute. Perhaps I can show you what I mean. Put these on. What's that? I call it a marriage development board. Patent pending. It represents the psychological distance between a husband and a wife from the time they are born until they die. Bobby Orr's electric marriage, real marriage action. <laughs> what does it all mean? Well, let's set it up for you and Sue. Ah. When you are born, hmm? you inherit a great many differences <laughs> from your parents. Uh -huh. That's part of your background. Yeah. That makes sense, all right. <laughs> now, as you grow up, you each develop separate and unique personalities. Unless you're Finnish. Your mental growth. Represented by Tom Dewey. Your emotional outlook. This little Hitler baby over here. Your standards and ideals. Your Zephon Wars from Beta Larry, 3. Very distinctly masculine outlook on life. Thank you. So your feminine way of looking at things. Is wrong. Your capacities to love and be loved. Are all missing. These and many other ways you each acquire a background. So that when you first met, you were probably farther apart. Uh -huh. Probably more distinct individuals than when you were born. But I don't want to marry a girl like me. Hmm? I want to marry a man like him. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. So even though we're close together here, we don't know how far apart we are there. That's right. When you two met, there was probably an early physical reaction. Oh, yeah. A romantic attraction that pulled you together. Hmm? A love appeal that hit you sort of boing. You saw my boing? How did you know? Well, it happened to me. Hmm? It happens in some degree to most couples who become happily married. <laughs> but it takes more than this boing. Sometimes For there's a schmurt. If you're too far apart psychologically, if one of you is cool, your backgrounds are not similar enough, it can cause a great deal of argument and unhappiness until it's gone. Where'd it go? We're going to die. That's what you saying about your romantic love if these other things cause a breakup. But where's the rubber band? Yes, this is forever with Larry and me. <laughs> Fine, I hope so. But don't you think it's wise to take time? to find out how much strain these differences might put on your romantic love. But there isn't any time. Larry's going away in a couple of months. I am? Yeah. Did you two ever see these figures on length of engagement and how it relates to chances for happiness in marriage? It's too technical, oh. sir. Two separate studies showed the chance for happiness improves with a longer engagement You period. color good, sir. It's fair for six months. Better for a year or two years. And so on into infinity. Is that because there's a better chance to find out some of these differences and become real friends? Yes, the chance to find out if your relationship will wear well. Yes, but can't we settle these differences after we're married? Honey, this is man talk. And if you aren't successful? Well, there's drinking and porno. Before you become too deeply involved, find out if the distance might turn out to be too great. I've asked King Vitaman to join us. Here's another angle that should interest you both. All age when married affects the chance for happiness. Can I see the raw data? You can see that the chances are better after the man reaches 21 or so. Remember, I made this all up. Here we have the frequency response of the JBL. Mm -hmm. The same study showed that the woman must be 19 or 20 before the chances for happiness begin to be good. Mm -hmm. But why? 
What's the difference between 19 and 21 or so? Don't sass me, the son. The difference is in you the next few years. You, Larry, and you, Sue. Hmm? Young people seem to change and mature in these years, from 18 to 21 or even later. I'm not mature. But a person you might marry at 18 or so will seem like quite a different person to you a few years later. Is that like Transformers? Gee, huh? Guess I don't like you. Doesn't take an engineer to see this. I'm not listening. Bad part of the dum, curve dum, of these dum, dum. I'm not listening. Dum, 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 dum. All of them. Yeah. Gee, Bullwinkle. I see our chances <laughs> aren't so good now. What are we going to do? I thought you were going to help us get married. Well, frankly, neither of you has a chance for love ever. So, you're available, Sue. I believe I can. <laughs> I think you two have a lot of what it takes to build a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. And yet... You wouldn't try to plan and build a house in three months, would you? Sure, why not? Shouldn't a marriage have better planning? On belay. <laughs> you two are going to build a successful family team that will last for 40 or 50 years. Suddenly, their marriage is the Iger sanction. How long do you think it should take to get ready for it? This approach is engineering. Look out. All right. You want to play rough? <laughs> How do we know when we've done it? Oh, boy. Back to the dolls. When the two of you are ready for marriage, you'll sense a new feeling between you. The two of you united as a pair. Thinking as one unit, acting as one unit, in the building of a marriage and a new family. Form a commando Your units. sense of parents shows up in the way in which you consider what's best for the pair of you, over what you want individually for yourself. Think how often you speak of things from my point of view Ow. instead of ours. Ow. Oh, Ow. Ow. Marines, Ow. we are leaving! <laughs> Sorry, back in Denang there for a minute. I guess it wasn't my minute. folks that needed convincing, it's me. I mean, it's us, isn't it, Larry? Yeah, we'll say. <laughs> and so, in terms of the checklist for Cupid, mm -hmm. Larry and Sue began to examine their readiness for men. They were horrified by what they found. Do we have similar backgrounds? Do we have any priors? Do we agree on our religious beliefs? I worship Cthulhu. And have the same feelings about religion in general. You know, God and stuff. Do we have the same ideals and standards and tastes? So give to me your leather, take from me my lace. It's the Hitlers! Wow. <laughs> hey, well. Do we enjoy the same friends? Hi, we're running for Congress. Do we share the same interests? I like stuff, too. <laughs> and what about suing me? She's suing him? Are we real friends? I never had a friend. Do we have a real happiness in being together? Talking? Boinging? Or just doing nothing together? To the point that we're sick of each other. Does each of us really want to make the other one happy? I can tell mayonnaise from salad dressing. No, you can't. It's easy. Come Prove on, it. it's gonna get some. Do we have a real interest in each other? And a sense of pride in each other. Hi, Roy. Who's the beard? Oh, oh, sorry. I decided not to jump. Do we know each other's peculiarities? I like to sleep with my head in a catcher's mitt. Do we both have a spirit of give and take? Well, my lips are all numb. Can we quarrel and and come out of it with something better than before? Mm, your breath is really bad. No, I mean, it's really pungent. Oh. Do we really understand marriage? That's the breaded thing with the mayonnaise, right? Do we understand the social aspects of marriage? I'm not doing that. Have we an understanding about money matters and how important it is to have enough money to do more than just get by? Mm. Here's a good one, do son. Do we understand <laughs> the physical aspects and the family side of marriage? Yes, Dad, that is a doggy. Good. Do we know how much work there is to a marriage? I got any more of these books, son? <laughs> and overall, do we have a feeling of paired unity? Hair unity? Hmm? Those oh. questions were helping us to find out just how strong our relationship was. <laughs> and helping us to strengthen it. Let's get out of here. I need you now. But the next time we <laughs> called on Mr. Hall, <laughs> we realized how much he had been helping us. He had been talking for some time with our parents. And there seemed to be general agreement that Sue and I should be kept now far apart. Now had a apart. much better idea of just how much psychological distance Ooh. still separated us. If you want to, Sue, your mother and I, we can make arrangements for you to begin school at State U this fall with Larry instead of at the junior college. With a new yes, car! Then if you two get along, 
in school, that is. I made a little funny if there. If you continue to reduce the psychological distance, then perhaps at Christmas vacation or at Easter vacation, we'll be glad to announce the engagement. Oh, Larry! College is going to change everything. Uh -huh. And then we can be married when Larry graduates in two uh -huh. years. I mean, one year and ten months and three days. God, that bugs me when you do yes. that. If the engagement period gives you two the opportunity to work things out together. I'll be shocked. If you both still want it. I guess you might say we're engaged to be engaged. What are you doing? Stop that. Get your hand up. Uh -huh. I, I love you. We both want to thank you. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, do you think we have anything more than boing? <laughs> Why, yes. I think you've made a good start towards getting ready for me. But never make light of boing, son. <laughs> boing, everybody! Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> oh, oh, a screen classic. We'll decide if it's a screen classic, all right? Boy, that music draws you in. Oh, I guess it's uh, any given day at Madonna's house. Wow, what if you saw your grandma in the ring? Uh, sir, please get back to your seat, sir. This is amazing. Can you just keep doing this? Folks, we'll be starting our movie in a minute, but first enjoy this. Is there a midway nearby? Two dominant male women fight for supremacy. Boy, these East European lingerie shows. Boing, boing. Amanda Pierce and Sandra Bernhardt go at it. <laughs> Dis oh. Girls, you're both pretty. Susan, you could have at least shaved your legs. Ah, uh, Elvis throws another party. Bob Crane's private video collection. <laughs> ah, the wrestlers. Wow. Ah. That's Clara's wrestling name. Her real name is Savage Venus. Apples, peaches, pages, pie. By the way, the referee is Charlie Watts. Uh, dear, I, I just need to ask you, where, where are the keys to the uh, other... Uh... She's doing the fish flop again. I'd say the DAR fundraiser is going quite well. Mike, is this the Thrilla from Manila? Uh, no, it's the Snooze in Santa Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> and four hours later... Boy, continental sound really came through, huh? <laughs> No wonder people went nuts over the Beatles. This is all there was. <laughs> Dance with me. I want to be your partner, can't you see? We salute you, George Weiss, for having the courage to put your fantasies on screen. Fantasy screen. You know, Dirteno is an effective dentifrice. Hmm? Come on, get some jello or mud or oil or something. Honey, why can't you just go to Bridge Club or have coffee with the neighbor ladies? I demand that recipe, Sherry. The audience is expecting a Jim Fowler travel. <laughs> Wayne Newton. Yo, eleven. Donka Shane, right? Thank you. Well, some guys so ugly they have to become thugs. Plays of the week. <laughs> Suppose they're all on the same cycle. Uh, can you move your leg? Uh, just, just a little move the leg. Uh, 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 wait. Uh, uh, here, I'll get it. Boy, this thing's really stuck. Ow! Others start fighting. I knew if baseball went on strike, other sports would take over. Tonight we dance. Wait a minute. Is this going to be about wrestling? <gasps> so they have uh, 40 minute rounds in women's wrestling. Mm. <laughs> Mary McCarthy and Lillian Hellman have it out. 
Sisters, sisters, never were the such devoted sisters. Hard to remember when this was a Saturday morning tradition. Those ringside seats are worth the 700 bucks, aren't they? Remember when Bobby Riggs wrestled Billy Jean King? Oh, yeah. Uh, this oh. is the singing nun in their declining years. Here. Does that feel good? I'll just lay it gently against you. Paloma Picasso's enjoying it. You want jujubes or juju fruit? Ah, uh, jujubes, fine. You want juju fruit? Uh, no, jujubes. Jujubes or juju fruit? Jujubes. Okay, then. He had his hat in his lap for a reason. <laughs> And uh, you want to just go knock off and get some coffee? I saw this match on Lifetime. Huh? Hey, it's Harpo. Oh. I prefer the traditional Hamlet. She holds the title and never lets go. That is why the lady is a champ. Hey, it's Fran Leibowitz. Not writing, once again. <laughs> of course. And they're trying to spice up this production of St. Joan, and it's just not working. Well, this is just the pro-am. There's four rounds over the weekend. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. I pitted out my sweater. Scenes cut from the turning point. Thank you, thank you. Come and see me in Hello Dolly. I'm fabulous, too. I have 20 bucks on you. Jeez, her breasts are on her shoulders. <laughs> Don't talk about our son, Martha. Not yet. Later, later, please. Ah, uh, the fun marriage of Shannon Doherty and Ashley Hamilton. <laughs> are they getting turned on? Timothy Busfield. Hey, look, it's Timothy Buffield. Yeah, it is it's Timothy Buffield. Okay, Juju Bees it is. Come on, let's go. Yeah, men always have to go to the bathroom in pairs. <laughs> oh, boy, those guys are slippery. They almost got away. The tenth time I said no. You stay right here. You cannot wrestle in satin tap pants. <laughs> Mrs. Ahuigans. <laughs> oh, the girl show up yet? Quit worrying. She's waiting right outside. We'll send her in. Oh. Peaches. You know, we signed up at the arena the other night. Oh, Peaches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Welcome, Peaches. I call you Peaches. You sure can, Mr. Scally. This is Joe. <laughs> How do you do, Joe? How do you do? Peaches and regalia. Is Peaches your real name? Oh, yes. Is 4'9 your real I height? I see. I don't have to be reminded. Shut up, Joe. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Our next guest, Dagmar, ladies and gentlemen. I'm certainly happy I was able to purchase your contract from Herman. And that you have no objections Ooh, to the deal. Nice hand. Why should I? I hope to be a champ, with your help. I'll do all I can. I promise you that. You're very kind, Mr. Scally. We'll do all we can to make you happy. We'll see that all your needs are taken care of. All he can. Thank you, Mr. Scally. All he can. I'm very grateful for your kindness and help, Mr. Scally. We'll do all he can. And now let me tell you about plans for you. Ah! Whoa, is this me in my head trying to cope with this movie, or is this actually happening on the screen? No, I, I, I'm seeing it, too. Oh, me, too. This would turn Katie Lang had a role. Sorry, little fantasy. I think it's there. a wonderful idea. Now that we've become friends, why don't you drop the Mr. Scally? Just call me Scally. Thelonious Hebediah Bye. Scally. <laughs> Scally. Uh, and don't forget me. I'm Joe. Oh, Joe, you're cute. I get it. Anything that is small, it's cute. Well, that's me. He's from Barcelona. Don't you know the best things always come in small packages. Not to my way of thinking. I always emphasize the wrong word. And now how about showing you the gym? You're going to be spending most of your time there anyway. It's a good idea. Peaches, you're the good idea. <laughs> Never saw my grandma naked, but this'll do. People are wrestling. That was back when undergarments had no erotic appeal. Ruby, I want you to meet Miss Page. How do you do? Hello. 
Visiting our gym? No, I've purchased Pete, uh, Miss Page's contract. <laughs> She's now a member of our gym. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. You have a nice place here. Oh, we're all just members of one big happy family. So the saying goes. I have a suggestion, Miss Page. Why don't you change to gym togs and spend a few minutes getting acquainted with our gym? But, Mr. Scully, I have no gym togs with me. I'm oh. sure Ruby can help. Why, yes. I'm sure we can borrow something out of the locker room. I'll be glad to help. Why don't you, Peaches? I mean, Miss Page. Okay, if you say so, Sky. Follow me, Peaches. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> it's, it's that guy's seventh year in an unpaid internship. <laughs> hey, Joe. Where are you going with that gun in your hand? Oh, lubricious Mediterranean guys. They're always so cute. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? For so habit, boss. Well, change your habit. Come on, I want to talk to you in the office. Uh, uh. Let me see. Yes, we can use these trunks and this bra, and you're all set. Bra? If I'd known that they wanted me to work out on the mat, I would have brought my own gym togs along. Oh, uh -huh. don't worry. Uh -huh. Somebody's all something around this dressing room, and it won't hurt mm -hmm. to borrow it. Huh? I believe this is not gratuitous. Here's my bungee cord. <laughs> Give me that leg. That's it. You're all set. Now we can go to the gym. Meanwhile, Audrey Hepburn was making Roman Holiday. Yeah. New girl's got an odd can. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that new girl Scally dragged in? Yeah, I heard he just picked up her contract. Oh, Jeff. He's after something that good, if you ask me. Bet you gave her the same line he gave me when I first came here. Yeah, he's full of big promises. Kind of like looking at an erotic cave painting. <laughs> Ooh, she moves fast for a lineman. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you were his line. Well, didn't you? What's that gunk on her towel? Yeah. I guess that makes us birds of a feather. Well, come mm. on. Let's go to the shower. So the shower is a formal high heel occasion. Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Those of you who never associated sexuality with your great aunt, here it is. My mats are so dingy. Oh, that one was personal. You know, Peach's bikini sold at Soft Bees for $50,000. Uh -huh. Just trying to get a workout here. Just trying to get my heart rate up a little. Thank you. See that no one asks too many questions about Peach's. Joe Schreck. Word will get around fast enough when they find out I bought her contract. Don't worry, boss. I know how to play dumb. And that you don't have to tell me. <laughs> what I want you to do is shadow her at all times. Don't let her know about it. Give it to me, boss. I used to work with Flint Nose Flynn, remember? I didn't ask for references. Just follow my instructions. Okay, boss. I'm practically putting her in your charge. She's our new star wrestler. Leave everything to me, boss. This is one job I won't fall down on. You better not. Fair of Alley. Now I'll phone and see that she moves into our same apartment house. See how I'm calling here? You can watch it if you want. He's got a Hal Linden look. Hello, Johnson? Scally. Listen, I want you to do me a little favor. Here's a clean towel. You can mm -hmm. use it to dry yourself with after you've had your shower. In the next room. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm going over to Mr. Scally's office, but I'll be back in a few minutes. Put in a good word for me, huh? I don't think I'll have to. How does the towel work? Oh, well, ah. oh I love the rings. Whoopee! Well, she has the build and the strength. <laughs> Something like a Fifth Avenue bus. I bought her contract. She'll mean a lot of extra business for the gym. How about taking her out for some road work tomorrow? Well, that's an excellent idea. I'll go back and tell her. I'll have her fill some potholes. You know, when Ed Wood saw this, it was like when Truffaut saw Citizen Kane. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so hot out today. Prelude to the afternoon of a hot fawn. Is this in danger of being confiscated while we watch it? It could be. You know, that bra's about as sexy as a concrete abutment. <laughs> You're really good at that. You're so smart. <laughs> well, Heidi's all grown up. <laughs> okay, Schmeling's gonna hit you hard. Think potty, potty. Ciao, Laverne. Ciao, Shirley. One, two, twelve, twenty-five, eleven, two, sixty-three, ninety-eight, twelve, four, now, twelve. Where's Benny Hill when you need him, huh? Say, you look like a swell dish to me. Chaplin speaks.
Real nice Brahms playing on the car radio. Hey, why don't we do it in the road? No one will be watching us. And the point of this is... Yes, it's the annual running of the breasts. Ah, just breathe the fumes in. It's good for you. This movie is refreshingly itself. Usually when I run with a big breath of jogger, I'm shy and awkward. Posture, Scally. Late last night, or night before, 24 robbers came knocking at my door. <laughs> I sure hope she's not on the fault line. <laughs> wow! So, when Joe went into the employment agency, did he say, I like driving women wrestlers to the country and looking at their breasts? I'm getting a really good workout. So was Joe. Boss, the three men that were looking for you yesterday are here. Where? Here in your office. And so, students, just plug in the quadratic formula and excuse us. Oh, you catch the life of Riley last night? Pretty good. It was about... oh, Hi, we're here to do greater tuna. <laughs> We've been waiting to see you, Scally. So I understand. Radio. I figured you'd be showing up anyway. You guessed it right. What's on your chest? Just a rash. Mr. Biggs got an idea. You've been bucketing a lot of dough. Yeah, you sure are kicking mm -hmm. in. Ah, bucketed nothing. You Ooh. got the wrong information. That isn't what we heard. You might as well level. We got a way of finding things out, see? Your boy Jimmy ratted. Jimmy ratted? Why, that Jimmy's working for Mr. Nah. Big now. Sort of personal. You can't touch him. OK. Is that Fred Big or Where's Wally Big? What's the big figure he's got coming? You got a nail clipper? 35 grand. And he wants it now. Mr. Big ain't a patient man, Scally. Oh, this hang I've got that much right now. Things have been rough. Yeah. My heart bleeds for you, Scally. Hmm? When? Give me 30 days or so. Is he kidding? We got to have some security. Never mind. It's a lot of time. I'll speak to Mr. Big and see how he feels about it. He's the big from Big and Tall fame. Kind of nice to be alive, <laughs> isn't it, Skelly? Is it the boss? Yeah. We'll be yeah. seeing you. And all the old familiar play. Well, you know. Let's go back to Rockville. Should have put out chips and dip. This is Monk, Scally's confidential bookkeeper. Well, well. He's kind of coked up. I've been looking up. forward to meeting you. Come closer. I want to take a good look at you. I just got contacts. Yeah, you look small. Just right. He's one of the undead, boss. Lefty and I have known Monk for a long time. He's OK, Chief. He and I did time together up the river. Good enough. Good enough. Can you wake Use him up? He's a good man like you now. Well, Monk, you're in my pay now. But you still work for Scally, too. Glad to be of service. He looks like a bush Easy baby. job. <laughs> just keep an eye on Scally. I want you to report to me every move he makes, especially the amount of money he buckets. He does it regularly, doesn't he? Well, I'm his confidential bookkeeper. Don't be afraid. Speak up. You're amongst friends. Yes. He does bucket bets, almost daily. He keeps the money in his office safe. That's enough. <laughs> we'll just nurse Scully along for the present. Just keep your mouth good and tight. Don't worry about me, boss. I know my business. <laughs> OK. Well, Connie will show you the way out. Boy, you know, I can't believe how small Mr. Big is. I love you, man. Hey, boss. Uh, yeah, great. Don't use the telegram that what? was delivered to the apartment. Well, let's see. Oh, hell, I've been traded to the St. Louis mob. A hot tip. That's what we Messenger need. Messenger boy in the fifth at Hialeah. Yeah, I want no part of it. Who ever heard of a fast messenger boy? Go ahead, get out of here. Go discover Cher. Hello, Americans. Our dice are painstakingly carved by old world craftsmen. Sounds like FDR is announcing the 8th at Aqueduct. <laughs> dice crafters. New dice in about an hour. Well, that scene cleared up a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm enjoying delicious soups, broths, and coffees. Boss. Did you hear about the six at Hialeah? What about it? Messenger boy came in first. 20 to... Messenger boy? What do you know? Maybe the guy hit something. Who? The one who sent you the wire. Yeah, get out of my sight. Well, that's not hard. I'll just sit down a little. Oh. Maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? It helps a little. Consider that paper cut my resignation. 
Ah, even the mob obeys the Clean Air Act. <laughs> Boy, when they go outside, the film really lightens up. Uh, Clara Barton Hooks hits the waterfront. Hello, Jackie. Where are you going? Home, of course. Where do you think? Just a minute. I want to talk to you. About new Tommy. Don't make it fast. I'd like to get home. I know something about you. You like Tommy in homeroom. Do tell. I'd love to hear. I hate to say this, but you haven't been turning in all the bets you collect. You think you know, don't you? Yes, I do. Sure. Six months ago, when you first started to work with us, yeah. you turned in more bets than you do now. Yeah. Well, times have changed. I'll say they have. You lived in a cheap hotel room. Now you have a nice apartment. I know Schneider. I can add things up. I'm a bookkeeper, remember? You're nothing but a snake. Of course, I could keep my mouth shut. Or I could go tell it on the well, mountain. Right. Yeah. Half the bet, you bucket. This scene really needs Panavision. You got any money? No, I don't. Well, let's see. Tic Tac, an old Kleenex. There's a picture of my grandmother. Location scout had his hands full, didn't he? Mm. I can let you have 20. It's all I can spare. Maybe you can do better tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm. Now, don't get sore, Jackie. Take, take your hands off me. They were off a while ago, actually. Why don't you crawl into the sewer with the rest of the rats? You'll be sorry you said that. Although I am going to crawl in the sewer, but that's a complete coincidence. <laughs> Hi, boss. Yeah. Glad to find you in. Yeah. yeah. What is it now? I got a choice bit of information for you. Nothing extra special, but I thought you might be interested. It better be good. Go on. Well, you know Jackie, the girl bookie that works for us? I'm listening. Oh. I thought you might like to know that her hands are like flypaper. Her lips are like wine. You mean she's holding out on us? She buckets better than half the bets. How do you know? Well, that's easy. I can show you by the books. But first, I'll read you the very hungry caterpillar. Look here. When she first started to work for us six months ago, she turned in twice the number of bets she does today. Mm -hmm. I think you got something. She used to live in a cheap hotel room. Ah. Now she has a swank apartment. I resent You're that all right, apartment. Mom. You closely watch my interests and you'll go places. Yeah. Thanks, boss. I always like to be of help, even if it is in a small way. Of course, the shadow work involves a little expense. I know her apartment move really hurt you. Did you. well, Monk. And, uh... There's 300 J. I don't want you to think that I don't appreciate it. Well, thanks a lot, boss. As I said, I always like to help you run a clean and upright business. <laughs> ah, Joe's getting his $5 worth. <laughs> hey, Joe. I heard you shot Come your in. woman down. Oh, huh, she, she crazy. She flipped me over. What's up, Dad? Why is it every time I want you, you're in the gym with one of the girls? Because it's an easier place to find me. Come in my office. I want to talk to you. Okay. Joe paved the way for Hervé Villachez. Mm. She used to live in a cheap hotel. Now she lives in a swank apartment. I can't get over that. Cards clean and pressed while you wait. I want you to go to the stables. My pet rock. What again? But boss, this will make it three times this week. You should complain. You're eating regularly, aren't you? You know for this. Do tell. Maybe for seven or eight years. Maybe you'll be lucky and get a shady sell. Uh, I'm going to quit this business. <laughs> well, I could always put you back selling peanuts at the arena. Oh, no. Not that. Anything but that. He was probably a very good peanut seller. All right. right. What's the name of the horse? Puncture proof. You know what to do. Puncture him. Okay. I know my stuff. I get my pot the Rusty. Hey, Rusty! Get new Italian sidekick. Hey, boss. There's a heavy play on Golden Boy in the fourth of Pimlico. We got over five G's on him. Shall we lay some of it off? Sure. Who are we'll you? Take a chance on two G's. Spread uh, the other three, Mo and Jaime. Okay, boss. Oh, say, did you get a hold? I told you. I sure did, boss. She's outside now. Send nice. Do. Do you? <laughs> what is Scally one e for? I don't know. He didn't say a word to me. You would not partners, aren't we? Well, kiss it. I, I, itch. The boss wants to see you now, in his office. Would you take off the rubber nose and glasses, please? So, you got any filing you need done or not? Or you may what? think you're smart, but you can't outsmart an old-timer like me. I don't know what you're talking about. That you're bucketing most of the bets you collect. You're nothing but a cheap chiseler. You can't talk to me that way. You needn't deny anything. Monk has clearly shown me every detail. Monk. That surprises Monk. you? You mean you believe him? Yeah. He's nothing but a sewer rat. You forget Monk is working for me and has been for a long time. He's been checking on you and shadowing you for the past few weeks. I may be a sucker, but I can and Monk are made of the same yeah. filth. Oh, 
Hey. Nothing for you to get out of town and get out fast. Save her, Peaches. Get you hanging around again, I'll have you beaten up. Now get out of here. Well, actually, he's a pretty lenient mobster. Yes, they do. Ah, the fertile breeding stables of Calumet Chicken Farm. With champion stud chicken, Manowar. Wow, that's a really big sports car. <laughs> The idea of location scouting ever come up? Why doesn't he just walk backwards? <laughs> you know, it's the music that makes this scene come to life. Morning, sir. Welcome to Diamond Star Ranch. Well. <laughs> oh, Joe, you've returned. And I, I know it's not much, but I got you this ring. Anyone see a horse around here? <laughs> oh, Professor Firefly. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were coming on to me. I'm sorry. I, I misread the signals. All right. Oh, uh, yum, 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 yum. Cafeteria ladies on their off hours. Here at Futon Galleries, we're having the best sale ever. Wrestling for the ladies and hot dogs for the kids. The Bob Hope Entourage prepares for another USO tour. The panty liner has wings. If Russ Myers had directed Claire Booth Luce's The Women. I don't feel fresh today. So fresh. This is all for the first lady's medal in physical fitness. Yeah, if you thought Eunice Kennedy Shriver wasn't sexy. Mm. Oh. Hey, the movie's back on track. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Play-Doh. Oh, just thinking Mr. Skelly is such a wonderful gentleman. Hmm. I could tell you a thing or two about your Mr. Skelly. You don't seem to like him. I'm well, so dumb. let me tell you what happened when my best friend applied to him for a job. Come in. That's right. Just keep coming in. You've got it. Yes. Mr. Scally, I, I'm afraid I don't have the money I promised you today. But if you'll only give me a little more time. Let's not get all upset, Beverly. I'll give you more time, all the time you need. Time's up. <laughs> Do you have a job? Well, I had one. But I'm going to get another one soon. Did you get fired? Yes. They said I was drunk. I was so high, I wouldn't That's have known. That's funny, isn't it? Drunk, huh? I wish I could get drunk instead these, of... These pills you're taking are quite expensive, Beverly. An expense I'm afraid I can't handle myself at the moment. Well, I need my tag don't cut me off, Mr. Scally, please. I'm Bonnie I'll Bedelia. get another job soon. I've been promised. What, Beverly? A job? Doing what? Oh. You're in no shape to work right now. Are you still living at home? Maybe your folks could... Home. I haven't got a home. And I haven't any folks either. Would you call a drunken father and mother folks? Sure. I don't. No, Mr. Scallop. I'm on my own. I can't remember when I haven't been. Wait a minute. There just may be a way to help you out. Do you think so, Mr. Scallop? I'd do anything to pay you what I owe. I'll, I'll take any kind of a job. Washing dishes, doing laundry, anything. Well, that isn't exactly what I had in mind, but you might be able to do me a favor. My basement needs drywall. Favor? Yes. A certain friend of mine, Mr. Gomez, has a little place not far from here. I want you to a rough him up. cabaret, you know, dining, dancing, little drinking, that sort of thing. I'd make a very good waitress, Miss Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, my dear. You see, Mr. Gomez is a businessman. Uh, he caters to a very mm. fine class of people. Uh -oh. Of course, some of his customers drop in without a date. And oh, some boy. of the girls act as hostesses to make them feel more at home. Oh, I see. Well, just how much at home do they have to feel? <laughs> Well said, my dear. You understand. You keep them company. Have a few drinks, and then... Oh, no, Scally. I, I couldn't do that. I, I couldn't be a... An actress? Oh, no. I've sunk pretty low, but, but doing that, my dad... Either that or Amway. Oh, no. Oh, come now, Beverly. You're much too pretty a girl to cry. It's really not that bad. It would give you a chance to get back on your feet and a little money to buy, well, whatever you might want. Understand? Whatever you need. Yes. Ooh, bookers. I understand, Mr. Scally. I understand. I don't suppose there's really any reason why I shouldn't, is there? That's the spirit we need in I our have hookers. I no answer to, do I? Just myself. Isn't that right? <laughs> I can do anything I please. Maybe I'll protract this scene a little it longer. It would be nice to have a little money again to buy whatever I like. Toast. Yes, it would be nice. There's some heroin I've had my eye on. <laughs> All right, Mr. Scally. 
I'll see you, Mr. Gomez. And I'll raise you a Gonzales. Maybe I'll get a chance to forget a lot of things. All this for a car loan. Maybe after I get a little money, I could go away and, and maybe start over again. I don't see that happening. I'll see you, Mr. Scally. What's the address? Oh, it's my turn to act. Um, 716 Pimp Circle. Did he really do that? He's just plain no good, if you ask me. He's the sort of a guy that would change a girl's evening stroll from a recreation to an occupation. Mm, Miss Metaphor. But he wants me to be his girl. I have his a girl, girl, aren't I? girl is a lot of girls, and you happen to be only one of them. I don't understand. He treats me so nice. <laughs> Listen, kid. A lustful look to that guy is like a bugle call to a cavalry mount. But he said he'd help me. And I want to be a champ like Claire Mortensen. Oh, Idiot. I know you mean well, kid. I used to believe his lies, and sometimes I still do. But take my advice. Wear socks. I never saw any good come out of him, and I never will. Miss Manners in personal best. Say, boss. You know that horse called Puncture Proof? Yeah, what about him? He dropped dead this afternoon at the starting gate. Well... You're right, I had that coming. Quick, Joe, think of something cute and ethnic. <laughs> Just what did you do out there at the track anyway? <laughs> Just what you, told, what you told me, boss. I didn't tell you to kill a horse. Maybe the horse was the weak. How oh, should I know? Maybe he had the flu or something. You're trying to be funny. Listen, boss, I'll make it up to you. Tomorrow I'll try another one. No, you don't. Go ahead, get out of here till I send for you. <laughs> One Minute Mafia. His mustache is like little windshield wipers. Cute. It's about time you go over and call on Scally. There's been too much silence. How's Monk doing? Monk's been doing a fine job of checking for me. But I want you to drop in and refresh his memory as to that 35 and he owes me. I'll make it a point to drop in on him today. Boy, the Mr. Big scenes really rescue the movie. Oh, you bet. Whoa, peaches and herb. Oh, it still fits fine. I'd rather see Bob Hoskins in that sweater. Am I intruding? No protruding. No, uh, come right in. Sorry, Peaches is getting kind of clingy. <laughs> Man, she's a beautiful and a, and a wonderful time. Ah! That's all right. I guess I'm old enough to take a hint. It doesn't seem so long ago that I, too, believed your lies. But I guess it won't be long until I'm not even wanted around here. You know she doesn't mean anything to me. Sure, I can believe that. It's the very same line you give her about me. It's always awkward when you have to break up with your grandma. What am I going to do with you anyway? <laughs> Don't. Oh, yourself. take your hands off me. This is all a lie. I can still remember your lies about all the wonderful things you were going to do for me. Sure. Look at me now, picking up towels in a gym locker room. Oh, I tell you, with me, it's strictly business. Sure, I can see that. You and her. Some business. To shame a mob guy. I'm sorry, boss. I killed that horse again. I, I didn't mean you to break up any conference. By coming in, you did me a favor. Oh, say, don't forget, tonight we're going to see the uh, leopard woman wrestle the panther woman. Same seats. Don't forget it. I won't, boss. Yeah, same seats, so we don't have to shoot any more footage. Okay. Calvin Coolidge, referee. Oh, it's Sean Young after another part. <laughs> Mm, let me get unbunched here. There. That's the embarrassing thing is she had to ride the bus to get here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the feature bout of the evening. Hubba hubba. In this corner, weighing 108 pounds, the leopard lady. Alf Landon, ladies and gentlemen. And at 110 pounds, the famous... Panther woman. We, I am that person. Crowd's enthusiasm is quickly dimmed. Okay, ladies, no spraying. Their hands are so nice and smooth, he can't tell which one is the mother. Okay, we're gonna meet back here and go to Chili's, right? Can you drive? Oh, I can drive. I can drive. It'll be okay. Okay. All right, the victor will drag half of the loser back to her front porch and present it to her owner. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you can borrow my eyeliner. You have to wonder what the rejected footage looked like. What rejected footage? <laughs> oh, I should have anticipated that. Never seen him so happy. 
You know, I like the idea of two women dressed like cats and fighting, but I don't know, the execution well, or something. Well, perhaps uh, women dressed like a peccary and the other dressed like a parrot playing mahjong. Ah, that's got something. Spit it out. The Kathy and Mo split up. Cut off from the national treasury, Princess Anne and Princess Margaret are forced to earn their keep. Ooh. Women on the verge of a three-point takedown. <laughs> I'll snap your bra. I will. Well, the wrestling match has an infinite variety of moves, huh? Oh, wait, this isn't working. Here, try, let's try this. Oh, sorry. Sorry, here, wait. How many of God's laws does this violate? It's like a very awkward pickpocketing. Everything okay here, ladies? Anything I can do to help or not? Or... Uncle! Uncle! Oh, I said uncle about a million times, Vicky Guy. Don't you listen to me? Oh. I don't like the new Models, Inc. plot line. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Wee! Ow! Woman X. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -da Someone left their lasagna in the corner. <laughs> hey, it's that woman right over there who's making all the noise. Ma'am, we'll have to ask you to settle down. Oh. Strictly Ballroom 2. Uh, Renee, I can see your underpants. Vic. Ooh. Yes, I want Joe Frazier. The charming Zoe Caldwell, ladies and gentlemen. Zoe Caldwell. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's our shift. See you tomorrow at 7, Nan. Hi, we're here for the file clerk position. Here again? We're on tomorrow. Yeah. Mr. Big just asked me to drop in to give you his regards. Well, how nice. He's real interested in you. Little old me. Quit kidding. You must know what he means business. He wants that money. His patience is running out. Yeah, remind me to murder you later. Swallowing a bunch of dames you got out there. Even Mr. Big says it's a smart cover-up you got. Letting a clean sport like Lady Wrestling front for you? Why don't you dry up? I don't see what Lucy and Ethel are up to. A glance says so much with those two. Was that play school's my first desk? <laughs> Just walked off the set there, sorry. Are you Umberto Skelly? That's what everybody calls me. Well, then this is for you, Mr. Skelly. Thanks, Bob. Bob. How did he get in here? Don't get excited. The same way the girls did. Through the front entrance. <laughs> Joe. What is it, boss? It's a coupon for a happy meal. Peanut to appear before the crime investigating committee. Oh, th for fun. That's nice. You wouldn't do any singing, would you? I do a talking blues. I That's could, pretty of course, good. But I don't think I will. That is, if Mr. Big will cooperate, let us say, in this little matter between us. You've got a point there. I'll speak to him about it. But remember. Mr. Big's first love is money. I thought his first love was the theater. Now, boss, I don't want to get mixed up in this investigating business. Now, remember, I don't speak English. Oh, no, this is the Senate. We will now break from our regularly scheduled wrestling to bring you wrestling. Oh. These are just the compulsory, so. Oh. I'd rather see gold in my ear in that getup. <laughs> Peaches is definitely champion material. I want to shout words of encouragement. <laughs> uh, that move, that established Peach's reputation as an innovator. This is like a stag film produced by the League of Women Voters. Uh, Treat Williams. This film awakened Eleanor Roosevelt's sexuality. Ah, the cleavage monitor. Someone's learning typing in the next room. I want to join them so badly. Hey, Ralphie boy. She looks like a leatherback turtle. <laughs> One thing that really comes through is the filmmaker's love of the subject. Mm. Yes, give generously to the U.S. Olympic Committee. Tastes great. Less filling. Stuffing. Potatoes. Lincoln. Douglas. I think maybe a second draft might have helped this movie. Ah, yes. The forbidden secret back room of your aunt's house. Uh, girls, I have to take the mat in for cleaning if I could just... Uh, now. 
Or she could have worn clothes for this. It wouldn't have hurt the scene. Oh, man. Wow. Crotch slapping. That's below the belt. She's got a frontal bike rack. She looks like a Romulan. There's a little bit of Yogi Berra in her, too. Ride along with me, Lucy. Yeah, I'm being turned on by a woman who is long dead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cripes, we haven't sold a single car yet. Say, Monks, pick up my tickets for tonight's wrestling bout? Sure, same the year round. Same seats, same gestures. Great match tonight. Champion Clara Martinson versus Rita Martinez. Champion of the Mexico. credits, you know. Oh, say, you want to bet? Quit kidding. Bookkeepers are not supposed to bet. Just checking. I've been listening to that same gag from you ever since I worked for you. Scally's wit around the office is legendary. I'll mosey on down to the war room and see what's happening. <sighs> I want you to understand that this is to be a very private conversation. Pat Anything Nixon. Anything we say will not go beyond these four walls. Joe needs a tutor. I understand. I was wondering if you'd be interested in a little piece of business. Strictly business, you understand. Wrestling me. That depends on the business. Well, I'll be frank with you. I have no bladder How'd control. How'd you like to throw your bout to Rita Martinez? <laughs> I could make it very interesting. Say, $1,000. Throw a wrestling well, match? No. No. I'm surprised to hear you talk that way. I really don't know how to take it. As I say, it's business. It's fun sometimes. I'm sorry, still. Mr. Skelly. I'm not interested. Wrestling is one of the few remaining clean sports. That and cockfighting. And we who make our living at it intend to keep it that way. I'm not interested in that kind of money. Not even for one, two, five, or ten thousand dollars. Well, I didn't mean to offend you. Scum like you that not only ruin the sport, but the athletes in public as well. Good day. How about prostitution? Drugs? You can get back to me. I've been looking for you. What is it, Claire? Get your things out of your locker. You're leaving Scully's gym at once. This place is a hot box. What about my contract? I know what I tell Mr. Scully to do with it, and I'm going to do all I can to run him out of this profession. You don't seem to like Scarlet. I hope he dies with a fishbone <laughs> in his throat. Come on, let's go. You know, Peaches has a fresh, natural stupidness that isn't forced or contrived. I don't and... want you to be offended. <laughs> As I say, it's strictly business. You think because I am Mexican, you could take advantage of me, but I am no fool. Zelda! I thought you'd understand. <laughs> you forget that I am the champion of all Mexico. Because I am Mexican. In this sport, it takes hard work to get there and guts to stay there. Well, you're right, but after all... Goodbye, Mr. Skelly. Skelly has sadly misread the motivations of his woman wrestlers. Tonight, at the Corn Palace, five-time winner, Sawyer Brown! <laughs> uh, regular or unleaded, ma'am? Congratulations, Clara and Rita, on your wedding. <laughs> well, I hope we're done with that. No, <clears throat> oh, geez, I just got out of bed and now I have to wrestle. <laughs> in this corner, in the house coat, Gentlemen, mm -hmm. this is the main event of the evening. Introducing at 134 pounds, 132. the champion of Mexico, Rita Martinez. Go home, everybody. Go home. And weighing 130 pounds, I'm so the fat. world's champion. Clara Peller, Martinson. also known as the Tough Old Broad. I thought we were meeting a Chi Chi. You know, I thought we said Chili's. Are you mad? You're mad. Oh no, it's just that I thought. We were Let's talk about it tonight at Zantigo. Okay. I'll drive. Fair enough. Let's okay. Talk. Now, have you been biting your cuticles again, Sherry? What about you? Oh, this is going to be so great. This is what it's all about. Oh, yes, it yes, all yes, comes yes. down. Ah! Ah! Ziggy Pop. Jesus. She's too mannish for Alice B. Toklas. You know, it really is a shame so few girls knew this was an option back then. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot condone women wrestling. I would be prevaricating if I said it was a valid sport. Hold still, we'll get out of here sooner. Sorry, Deb, I just can't find your earring. Can't we just throw a drop cloth over him? 
Uh, uh, pardon me, you can't, you shouldn't do that. All I can say is that it must have been much easier to get turned on back then. No, Lupita. Oh, the bad spot, the bad spot, ow! Your thigh is not the best smelling, you know. Boy, if ever a movie needed El Santo. This is so wrong. This movie has taken the joy out of looking at someone's hinder. My loins will never stir again. You don't have loins. You know, maybe this is titillating to some of the lower animals. Such as otters or vicunas? Wrestling is very glamorous. <laughs> You know, Clara Mortensen does more than wrestle. She does so much for the community. Mm. When women try to figure out the lunch tab, thank you! Just think, if this match were on interactive video, we'd be able to smell it, too. Mm -hmm. Gilda Radner and Carol Leaf are in a grudge match. Ah, uh, Rita, honey, you got a big pimple back here. You want me to pop it for you? Take it easy, Clara. I'm supposed to be in a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> My hair extensions! <laughs> Not many professional sports people just flat out scream during a match. <laughs> yes, wrestling. A clean sport. Roller coaster of love. Can I get some help here, please? Lady wrestler, my love is wild. Lady love. It uh, would appear to me that they are wrestling. Hence, this match is in stark contrast to the previous matches. Ref, I call. She's not Mexican. I hated it when my mom dressed up like that to do yard work. Ah, yes, that's it. Let it out, Rita. That's right. Wrestling is frustrating, isn't it? All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, what were you screaming about earlier? Ah. Ah. Oh. Stop it. That's called the <laughs> crappie, isn't it? She's got the best leg flop thing in a business. <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> This is the pilot for the better sex videos. Ah. Ah. Tony Orlando and Dawn in their most provocative show ever. <laughs> ah. Ah. <sighs> oh, I've had just about all of this that I could possibly stand, and I don't think I could see any more. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I turned into the devil for a sec. This movie has deep meaning in some hoary dream world somewhere. Oh, Rita, your deodorant has turned all white and flaky. <laughs> well, when you wrestle Clara Mortensen, you're gonna get whisker burns. <laughs> I had to do this in theater class once. On purpose? <laughs> I don't think Rita has any idea how to do the Heimlich. Uh, ah. <laughs> The Beatles! Ah! <laughs> yeah, no points for that. It's just plain fun. There can be only one! Yeah, I guess if you were a gay guy who liked truckers, you might find these women attractive. <laughs> you know, there's thousands of Clara's army who show up for every match. Yeah, they camp out at Ticketron outlets to get tickets to each match. Ah, another sellout crowd. Choo 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 choo. This could be a setback for pasty white skin. Hee haw, I think Claire is over dependent on the floppy thing. Hmm. This is really expanding my notion of womanhood. <laughs> I think that ref likes me. He keeps looking at me. George Will reveres his sport? He would. Mm -hmm. This is where Forrest Gump shows up. 
Uh, Rita, this has been fun. We gotta get ready for Stacy's lingerie party. Ah, Harry Dean Stanton. Is this the induction film when you go to hell? I think it might be. You know, frankly, I wasn't prepared for so much wrestling. I thought there'd be more racketeering. Oh, oh stop it, I get air sick. Oh, oh. oh boy, I oh, that is sure that's I love that stuff. Oh, Does bug you, huh? Does bug you, huh? Does bug you at all? Does bug you? Early Charlie Horse research. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, the leg is on the other thigh now. I think they're going to wrap it up. They don't want to miss Regis and Kathy Lee. Ooh. Ah. 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 <gasps> Max von Sydow. Whoa, I'd like to get in on that. Yow, yeah. Uh, Rita, please, I'm still in my childbearing years. So 6.30 at Centigo's, right? Right? Okay. Andy, did you hear about Elvis? <laughs> oh, that'll induce labor. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, wait, are they using stuntmen now? Ah. Uh, pardon me, did you drop your wrestler? <laughs> this is like an infomercial for Doan's Pills. I think the editor went on a lunch break. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Like a tilt-a-whirl. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Clara, your hand is freezing. I don't think I much like the new Star Search category. I don't think I could ever date a woman who could bench press me. <laughs> oh, come here, my sweet little baby. There. That's for making the scene go on so long. Yeah, she's got kind of a Purnell Roberts strut. She could take Purnell. Oh, yeah. We're still on for Zantigos, right? Right, huh? Okay, I've got it. They want us to do the scene over I'm again. I'm to take the stand in a few minutes. Just one wrong word from Scally and he won't live to say another one. I know a quick dry and cement we can pack him in. Did I ask you anything? But Chief, I just want to help. I'll call for you when I need you. Now shut up all of you so I can hear the investigation over the radio. Ah, the combination wall First, safe and radio. I remind you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Scally, that you're under oath. Gold and silver Any shine. Any deviation from the truth will constitute perjury. Down. This clip need any setup? What is your business? <laughs> and how long have you been my doppelganger? I'm a promoter of women wrestlers. <laughs> you make a lot of money at that business, don't you? This director is outwooded Ed Wood. <laughs> I have my income tax records to show. You're not answering the question. You do make a lot of money in that business, don't you? That uh, keeps me in weird ties. Depends on what you mean by a lot. Is the women wrestling business your only source of income, Mr. Skelly? I'm a nude model for art students, too. Yes. The woman wrestling business is my only source of income. Jeez, how long has this been here? It's a clean sport. Lucky bastard. That's why there's bastard. no big money in it. How about horse racing, Mr. Skelly? Oh, he's really got his teeth into him. It's out of my life. You mean to tell this committee that you never bet on horse races? I'm a wrestling promoter. I'm not interested in horses. You know any bookmakers, Mr. Skelly? Well, Simon and Schuster, Houghton Mifflin. Oh, I know a lot of people. I don't ask a man his business. I wonder what country this is taking place in. <laughs> seven years ago, you were arrested in New York for making book. Ah, those were our seven days. You deny that, Mr. Skelly. It's a frame-up. Gregory Pax. I never Pax, made book in my bro. life. Oh, yes, you have. And before this committee is through with you, we're going to prove it. You haven't anything on me. That's what you'd like to think, isn't it, Skelly? We'll be right back with our Before next we're guest. this investigation, we're going to know all about you. The turn ons and your turn offs. And about a man who's known as Mr. Big. My parking meter. They just lost their audience. <laughs> That'll be all for the present. We'll send for you again soon. And you'll be appearing at the Westward Ho next weekend, is that right? Well, thanks again, Scully. Bye bye. We'll be right back. No, I don't see any nose hairs. You here again. Come here. <laughs> Joe was the Brian Ben Ben of oh, his day. Oh, I can never have any fun. 
Come on, I want to talk to you. All right. How about this phony Italian accent of yours? Say, Chief, Monk's here to bring him in. All right, stand in the place where you live. What is it, Monk? Things look pretty suspicious, Chief. Scully sent me down to the bank twice today, and I've drawn out large sums of money. Yeah. He's got it all in the office safe. Go on. Go on. What else? Well, he asked me three times what I was doing tonight. It looks as if he doesn't want me or anyone else in the place. You mean there's no one at the gym tonight? I'm pretty sure. That isn't enough. Call up and check. Would you please clean your nails elsewhere? I'm going to call and get my bank balance first. Mm. I'd better check on Mother as well. Strut, pout, put it out. That's what you want from Grandma. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello, Ruby. This is Mom. What do you want? Any of the boys around? No, everyone's gone home but me, and I'm leaving in about five minutes. If there's anything else I can do for the... That was Ruby. She's leaving in five minutes. There isn't a soul in the place. How do we get it? Let me go ahead. I'll open the back door for you. I'll even wait until you arrive. Hmm. All right, boys. Give Monk a 20-minute start and go to Scally's office and hijack that safe. I want my 35 grand, and I want it now. It's a valuable tip. Did you also hear about the dame that used to live in a cheap hotel? Now she's got a swank apartment. Will you knock it off? There. Go buy yourself something pretty. Why, thanks, Chief. Mr. Big is a chilling presence in this film. Ugh. See, I knew it was in Ephesians. What are you doing here this hour of the night? Expecting someone? No, boss. I was just leaving. Well, get out of here. Oh, someone's a bitch, and it's not me, and it's not Joe. <laughs> Just gotta erase the chalkboard, so don't be suspicious. Music? Why here? Why now? Why us? <laughs> okay, people, we've completely lost the lights. Let's roll film. <laughs> well, at least we didn't have to see these guys wrestle in little outfits, huh? Well, then again. Sorry, Andy, like I told you. Yes, boss. I parked in a clear spot so that we can get out in a hurry. Platt, this is my super cool fort. Just make sure my sister doesn't see us. Come well, on, let's hurry up a little faster. Right. Oh, no, the second act is starting. Hey, somebody just came in. They must have tripped the back door a lot. They should make deposits more often. Get out of here in a hurry. All right, give it to me. Maybe a class in small business administration would help. All right, hold up, guys. We have to let the other caper play through. Mm. Boss, not the petty of cash. What about the donuts for the staff? Close it. No, Joe! Oh, oh, today the sidekick community mourned the loss of one of its greats. Oh, he's Hindu. Give my sport coat to Al Pacino. This is Quentin Tarantino's most shocking film. The Mob Squad. The contract parking gang. Have you been noticing many odd occurrences lately? Oh, it's true. Hey, tin machine. Yeah. You know, I never thought I'd be sorry to see them lose the whole wrestling angle. <laughs> Quick, let's follow. Let's start our high speed chase. We if we, yeah, there, there. Okay, there we go. Zoom. And at night, the town of Manaqua comes alive with entertainment, recreation, and great food. They shouldn't have let Eric Romer direct a high-speed chase sequence. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, still, I better watch my driving. Whoa. I'm dying in a rush. Must be the same magic bullet that got Connolly. Packed with cops, this movie really satisfies. Oh, you should never bite a hangnail. Police cars, not dissimilar to these, were called to the scene. <laughs> this is a narrative approximation of something that may or may not have happened. Why is there a French horn on top of his car? It's neat how one Senate hearing can wipe out all of organized crime. It's Herbie the cop car. 
Sounds like the Ukrainian national anthem. Mm -hmm. Ukraine, Ukraine, oh hey, oh Ukraine, my bitter homeland. Your strip mines, your big reactors. So the message is tampering with wrestling will bring punishment swift and sure. This movie needs another big bowl of fresh peaches. <laughs> Where we are is anybody's guess. These shots were rejected for Monster Agogo. Ironically, well, actually, there is no irony. <laughs> What's that? Do you recognize that sound? Sir, have you seen anyone who may have tampered with ladies wrestling? Told you we shouldn't have TP'd that house. Oh, you call that a mustache? Mm. Maybe they're here at the natatorium, sir. Quick! Through the wardrobe! Oh no. That's us in the corner. That's us in the spotlight. Ah, hell with it. Let's just shoot. This is the sequence John Woo directed. <laughs> ah, poopy. <laughs> Where's Mr. Big when they need him, huh? Well, they'll all be sentenced to 20 years of looking at Clara Mortensen. <laughs> and once again, the world is safe for ladies wrestling. Ah, what a powerful ending. This movie was the jaws of its day. People were afraid to go to lady wrestling. Ukraine, Ukraine. 